Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So we are here now coming off of a loss last week, but we are still 2-1 and one on the season. The Pittsburgh Steelers are leading the AFC North with a perfect 3-0 and record so far. We're going to be taking on the Oakland Raiders, who are also undefeated, but we did make a quarterback change. Logan Thomas has regressed a little bit since he fumbled last game. His carrying did go down too, so... We decided that for this game, we are going to go ahead, we are going to try out TJ Yates. We are still waiting on Joe Flacco to come back. So we're going through this whole quarterback situation, but we're going to start TJ Yates, 70 overall, Logan Thomas, 65 overall. We will see what happens. But like I said, we're taking on the Oakland Raiders. They are undefeated so far this year with Connor Cook as their starting quarterback. So he's going to come onto the field first. You guys see his stats on the season. 400 yards passing, three touchdowns, one interception, and the first play from scrimmage. They're going to drop back to throw it, but this one will fall incomplete as we're able to get through the line of scrimmage for a nice play right there. You see the starting running back It's also going to be Tywan Jones for the Oakland Raiders. I don't know where Murray is, but Tywan Jones will get the start. But anyway, for the Raiders, it is third and ten right here. Connor Cook would hold on to the football for a while before eventually finding Marcel Reese, who makes the catch, but he is brought down short of that first down marker. So the Raiders are forced to punt the football, but look at this. We almost come up with the block. On that punt, that would have been absolutely crazy. Perriman will fill this one. He will pretty much go nowhere, taking this one down to the 21-yard line. But that's where we will start. That's where TJ Yates will take over on this offensive possession. So, first play from scrimmage now with TJ Yates behind center. He hands it off to Justin Forsett. He takes this one up the middle. He will get a gain of about eight on that carry. Second and two. Now we hand it off to Forsett again. This time he will pick up a first down. So we're looking very good. Then right here, Carlos Williams getting his first carry of the season. He will take this one for a gain of nine yards. Not a bad float way to start off your season with the Ravens. But right here it is second and one. TJ Yates gets brought down for a sack. So now we are looking at a third and eight. We're trying to convert right here. TJ Yates is dropping back. He will check down to Crockett Gilmore, but he will be brought down short of that first down marker. We will have to punt the football, and now the Raiders are taking over. Right away, they are taking the shot deep down the field, and we will be called for defensive pass interference. So they're going to get the football in great field position. Third and seven now from the 25-yard line. Connor Cook drops back. He gets hit as he tries to throw it. They will have to settle for a field goal attempt, and this kick is up. This kick is good as Janikowski nails that once they go up 3 to nothing in this ball game. But right here, we're trying to take over, but TJ Yates is going to overthrow Bashar Perriman, and this football would be intercepted. We were looking for that post route. He's going to throw this one a little too far ahead of Perriman. Wasn't able to actually even make a play on the football. Then Nate Allen comes through with the interception. The Raiders taking over in great field position once again. So first and 10, they go with a play fake, but CJ Mosley comes through through untouched he comes up with a big time sack right there look at this one again the play fake as soon as he turned around cj mosley was all over him so now they're looking at a second and 26 connor cook hands it off to taiwan jones look at that spin move just breaking the ankles of eric weddle he will eventually come back and make a tackle but that was a great run by taiwan jones here it is third and five connor cook drops back he's going to find his tight end walford makes the reception that is going to be a first down for the oakland raiders right here it is first and ten they're going to throw this one to taiwan jones and look at him juking past the defender and he is gone you guys that will be a touchdown for the raiders they are up 10 to nothing in this ball game. Look at that juke move right there over Jimmy Smith. He tried to square up and make a good play on it, but unable to do so. And now the Raiders are leading by 10 points. Now we take over back on offense, second and 10. That's going to be Steve Smith who drops that football. So now it is third and 10. TJ Yates is trying to scramble right here, but he will get brought down for a sack. Once again, we will have to punt the football. The Raiders now taking over, and Taiwan Jones going right back to work, getting the carry up the middle. He gets a gain of nine. Then on second and one, they hand it off to Taiwan Jones again. He gets a couple of blocks down the field. More importantly, one from Michael Crabtree, and that will take them into Baltimore territory. Second and ten now, once again, handing off to Taiwan Jones. This time, he will only get about three on that carry. Now it is third and seven. They're dropping back, and they're going to find Walford again. Who makes that reception? They are now inside of the 25-yard line. Now a couple plays later, it is second and 11. This is Taiwan Jones almost taking this one inside the end zone for a touchdown. However, they will be stopped at the one-yard line. Then right here, Cravens comes through, makes a good stop. So now it is third and goal to hand it off to um, DeAndre Washington. He gets stopped by Matt Elam. And then the Raiders will have to settle for a field goal. So they're up 13 and nothing. But we decided to go back to Logan Thomas. So he is back in the game. And his first pass 
was very un inaccurate right there. So now, second and 10, Logan Thomas drops back, and he will end up fumbling the football as he tried to take a sack right there. So now we are looking at a third and 17. Logan Thomas dropping back, and he will get hit as he tries to throw the football. So things aren't looking too good for Logan Thomas either. The Raiders take back over now. 157 remaining here in the half. You're going to see Taiwan Jones takes a big hit, but able to hold on to the football. Right here, they're going to go with a slip screen to Jones. He takes another hit, this time from Eric Weddle. So now it is third and eight for the Raiders. They decide to go with a draw play, and it's almost going to pay off, but they would be inches short of the first down marker. Jenikowski comes out, and he is going to make the field goal. So they're up 16 to nothing. Give us a minute to go in the half. And right away, this is Perriman using his speed the break contained taking off down the sideline before being tackled out of bounds at the 41 yard line now we're looking at the first and 20 right here we are looking deep down the field and we're going to find Kamar Aiken who makes the reception a 49 yard touchdown reception we are finally on the board you guys 7 to 16 is the score but there's under one minute to go for the Oakland Raiders and Holmes makes the reception right there. He's going to get a good play on that one. Now it is first and 10. Connor Cook drops back, finding Taiwan Jones who gets a couple of key blocks right there. He will eventually trip. He will make the tackle, but there still is 24 seconds remaining in this half. Connor Cook dropping back right here. Has plenty of time. Great blocking and he is going to find his tight end once again, making another catch. So now it is first and 10 from the 14-yard line. Taiwan Jones, he's going to make a catch, bring him down to the 2-yard line. And now the last play of the half. We just need to come, come up with a stop, but we cannot because the Raiders are going to score on that slant route. They are going to extend their lead. They are up 23-2-7 at halftime. So we get the football first to start off the second half. We need to put some points on the board pretty quickly because this game is kind of getting out of hand. So Justin Forsett, he's going to get the carry. He will fumble it, but fortunately for us, he will fall on the football. So now it is second and three. We're looking for Perriman on the drag route. Once again, he makes the catch, and we are taking this one into Oakland territory. So now the very next play, Logan Thomas tries to step up. He tries to scramble, but he will be brought down for a sack. So it is second and 12. Logan Thomas sees the pressure. He finds Steve Smith Sr. And he is gone. He got a 38-yard touchdown strike for a touchdown. And we are back in this ball game. You see the one-on-one -on -one coverage right there making the catch and then just outrunning the cornerback into the end zone for a touchdown. So we do decide to go for two right here. And we will convert as Ben Watson gets in there for a touchdown. 23-15. That is the score. Oakland Raiders are back on offense. We need to come up with a stop. So Cravens is going to come up with a big time tackle right there but here it is second and three and this one will go down to third and one with the out route so they will decide to go with a play action and we come up with a sack that is elvis doomerville coming through untouched right there he almost played on um, bought in for that play action but he decides to go back to the quarterback comes through with a sack right there we take over and we have an opportunity to at least try to tie this game up but look at this right away this is justin Forsett getting a good block down the field and he is gone taking off down the sideline nobody is going to catch him a 70 yard touchdown run from justin Forsett. and just like that guys we are back in this ball game we would fail the two-point conversion so we're down by two points the raiders are on offense but our defense needs to step up the first play we come up with a huge sack right there that is going to be Lawrence guy who comes up with that sack the next play second and 24 they look for the slip screen we take it away and this will end up being a safety so we get those two points this game is all tied up at 23 apiece and we get possession of the football and look at this run right here by Justin for set breaking out of a tackle he is off to the races he will outrun the linebacker and Justin for set is gone you got the 67 yard touchdown run on that play however this whole play is coming back because of a holding penalty right here on our fullback. It really didn't even matter because Forsett was gone at that point, but that is where the holding occurred. Now we're looking at a second to 16. Logan Thomas drops back. He gets hit as he tries to throw the football. We would eventually have to punt the ball. So Oakland takes back over on offense. And this is going to be Taiwan Jones trying to get to the outside. But Cravens is there to come up with the tackle. So now it is third and five. Connor Cook, he has time. Just chilling in the pocket. Eventually he's going to find a tight end who breaks out of a tackle. And he will end up picking up a first down. All we had to do was contain. We were unable to do it on that play. So now it is first and 10 for the Raiders. They come up with a nine-yard receiver on that play second to one to hand it off to Taiwan Jones he gets a couple of good blocks and that's going to allow him 
to pick up a first down on that carry. First and 10. Now the handoff to DeAndre Washington. He finds a hole, breaks through a tackle, and he's taking this one down to the 12 yard line. Now the first play of the fourth quarter. Taiwan Jones takes this one up the middle. He's going to meet Cravens up there, but he's still able to pick up a gain of five. So now third and five. They're trying to find Holmes, but he drops. The football, a huge drop right there, is that could have tried to allow them to keep trying to get a touchdown, but instead they will have to settle for a field goal because of that drop. So this kick by Janikowski is up. It is right down the middle. They are up by three points, 26 to 23. But we still got 10 minutes to go in this ball game. You see Logan Thomas trying to scramble right here, but he will end up only going for a gain of one yard. So now it is third and eight. Logan Thomas goes with a play fake. He is looking down the field. He decides to roll out to his right. He's going to throw this one deep down the field. A risky play, but this football will fall incomplete. So the Raiders are going to take over on offense once again. Eight minutes to go now in the ball game. Connor Cook dropping back. He's going to find Marcel Reese, who makes the reception. He's easily going to be able to pick up a first down on that play. Now another third down for the Raiders, third and six this time. Connor Cook drops back, and just like last time, going to find Marcel Reese. Except for this time, he breaks a couple of tackles, eventually being brought down at about the 30-yard line. Right here, it is third and six. Connor Cook throwing this one deep down the field on third down, but Michael Crabtree cannot hold on to the football. That would have been a huge play right there for the Raiders. He had it in his hands, both hands actually, unable to reel that one in. That is fortunate for us because now they have to settle for a field goal attempt instead. So the kick is up by Janikowski. This one would be good as well. So they are up by six points, 29 to 23, four minutes to go in this ball game. And look at this, we're looking for Kamar Aiken on the drag route. He will overthrow his target right there. So now we're looking at a third and 10, and then Logan Thomas would be brought down right here as I don't really even know what kind of animation that was, but it will count as a sack. So we have to punt it on fourth and 10. This is going to be back to field to Taiwan Jones once again. So we're going to have a nice move right there to break out of a tackle. But he will fumble the football right there. But fortunately for the Raiders, they would recover it. So they will take back over on offense. You already know they're going to try to run out a little bit of clock, at least as much clock as possible. But right here it is second and six. We bring as much pressure as possible. We come up with a sack. So now they're forced to throw it on third and 18. And they will convert on the third and 18 so that is something that we absolutely did not want to happen so now we know 100 percent they're going to be running the football so the first play we blitz able to come up with a two yard loss then on second down we're able to stop him for pretty much no gain and then on third and 11 hand off to marcel reese we're able to stop him at the line of scrimmage as well so we use all of our last timeouts we get the football left, 145 remaining in the ball game. A touchdown would win it for us. So here it is first and 10. Logan Thomas is going to take off running. He will slide down at the 29-yard line. So we're looking at a second and one. We decide to hand this one up the middle to Forsett. And Forsett is running hard, breaking through some tackles. And he would eventually be brought down at the 43-yard line. But we have no timeouts remaining in the game. So we got to take a shot down the field and he will overthrow. Rashard Perriman, we had him on that seam route, overthrew him. So now it is second and 10, and we end up being brought down for a sack. So now we are looking at a third and 18. We need to come up with something here. Logan Thomas is looking for Perriman on the seam route, and this football will fall incomplete. So we're now down to the last play of the game. We're looking for Steve Smith Sr. since he is our best receiver, but he will drop the football, you guys. And that will end up being the ball game. He had it in his hands. It would have been an incredible catch if he was able to hold on to it. But he did have it in his hands right there. And then he would end up having the football knocked out. And that would end up being the ball game. So we will lose for a second consecutive week. We are now 2-2 two and two on the season. But taking a look at the stats, our passing game was absolutely pathetic in this one. Logan Thomas was 4 for 15. Willie had two completions at a TJH. Really could not get anything going through the air. We are desperately, I never thought I would say this, waiting for Joe Flacco to return. Justin Ford said he had only eight carries, 123 yards, but we had to kind of abandon the run a little bit when we got behind. We probably should have stuck to it and kept just feeding him the rock. But we ended up coming up with the loss. We came up short by six points. The Raiders are four and know they are still undefeated on the season. Next week, we have the Washington Redskins, but that is all I have for this episode, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead, leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.